we have this curve y equals x squared minus 2 times 1x and we're interested in the stationary point for it so that's going to mean we need to find dy by dx and then set it equal to 0. So for this we can use the product rule this is u this is v u dash is going to be 2x v dash is going to be 1 over x you might just be able to go straight into it and just differentiate this and times by this and add this times differentiated of uh, v if you want i'm taking it a little bit slower here so we've got 2x times ln x plus x squared minus 2 times 1 over x which i can just write all divided by x here and that is going to equal zero for stationary points Kind of assuming you're familiar with that, but let me just remind you, we've got some sort of curve. I have no idea what it looks like, but um, at some point it's going to turn. And at that moment, the gradient is temporarily zero. Could be a maximum, could be a minimum, could be a point of inflection. We're not, we're not interested in that, just the fact that it's a stationary point. Now, we're not asked to find the stationary point right now. We're asked to just rearrange the equation. So I'm going to, first of all, multiply through by x. Gonna, like I've got this in the back of my mind up here, but you know I'm just going to do what you normally would do: get rid of sort of fractions like x. So two x squared ln x plus x squared minus two equals zero, and actually that is exactly what we need. So I suppose you know if you didn't quite see it, you could like look at the answer and think, okay, how am I going to get that? I'm going to need to times through by this x. Next, we're asked to show that the newton raphson iterative formula for finding the root of this equation in A can be written as this. Now, right, we've got to wrap our head around this. We've differentiated to get an equation, but you've almost got to ignore that now. We're just focusing on solving an equation, which we can't solve exactly. We need to use a numerical method. So this, um, well, in the newton raphson formula, I just realized I've not actually written it yet, so the, the function f of x is not the original function, anything. it's actually this thing here. So f of x is going to be 2x squared ln x plus x squared minus 2. Wait, what was it? Two, oh, sorry, I've already forgotten. 2x squared ln x. Okay, so that's what we're trying to solve equal to zero. And this is a newton raphson method formula. I'm not going to derive it, but I always feel like it, I want to talk about it a little bit when I when I uh, when we implement this formula. Like, where does it come from? Because it comes from the idea that we've got some sort of function that's going to go through the x-axis. That's that's what the root is. And then what we do is we pick a point somewhere because like, we know it's close to one. And then we actually find the tangent to this, um, but it's probably going to end up going through the curve. And then that becomes your next point and you draw another tangent and so on. And you actually iterate, you know, you converge towards the root. So that is what's going on. And you can derive this formula. Highly suggest that you go back and learn about that. But in any case, that is how the method is working. and. Um, given certain conditions like the fact that uh, the derivative is not allowed to equal zero but it's the derivative of the thing we're solving then you know we should get to the solution so we need to find f dash x and we're going to have to use the product rule again here i'm going to do it a bit more quickly this time so i'm just going to differentiate 2x squared to give 4x and times by ln x and then i'm going to add 2x squared all over x and I'm going to be adding 2x here. So the x and the x squared are going to cancel here and I'm left with 4x ln x plus 4x. So that means x n plus 1 is going to equal x n minus, now I've got my function, so 
just going to write it down. And then it's this bit that is all over the derivative. Right, I'm trying to get to this. I'm just going to grab it. I'm not going to focus too much on the answer. But one thing we see immediately is that there is no xn minus, which means we need to put it over a common denominator. That's going to be the next step. in the back of my mind so it can so x m plus one is going to equal x n and i'm going to multiply by four x n then x n plus four x n and i'm going to be minusing all of this thing here Been remarkably well to put that in. This is all over. At this point, I can see in the answer they factorized out the 4xn, so I might as well do that. Okay, so let's multiply it out. So I'm going to get 4xn squared times ln x n plus. 4xn squared. Then I'm going to be minusing, get rid of this bracket, minusing 2xn squared ln xn minus xn squared plus 2. Okay, and then combine terms. So these two are, make, are going to become 2xn squared ln xn. I'm going to get a plus 3xn squared and a plus 2. Nice. So let's just recap. We've differentiated a function uh, and then set it equal to zero to look at the stationary point. We've rearranged that equation to set it equal to zero. And then that is the function which we called f of x that we want to solve. The newton raphson iterative formula allows you to solve that. So we've basically substituted our function and its derivative into that, rearranged it, and it's given us this formula here. This just leaves the application. We're asked to apply the formula with an initial value of 1. But that's what we're doing. Um, like when I put it in here, I'm putting in my 1, and then I'm going to get more values, and then, and then I'm just going to get closer and closer to my solution. That's the hope, and that will happen here. So x1 is going to equal 1. And we're asked to find x2 and x3. Now you don't need to write down that you are substituting 1 into here. You, this is just a calculator question now. So the way to do it is that you put 1 as your answer. And then everything is in terms of our answer. Because we're going to get a new answer. And then that's going to go straight back in. Really effective way of solving this. Just type it in carefully. That's all I can say. So get 1.25 for x2. And then for x3, just press equals again, 1.2075. It doesn't say, I'm going to round it to 
three significant figures but this you know i don't think we're going to be marked down heavily on that it's absolutely fine to leave it like like i did and we could we could keep going so part four asks us to then write down the coordinates of the stationary point which we've worked out numerically using the newton raphson method really actually really nice question the fact that we're finding a stationary point not just solving an equation it's you know it's got this practical application so the stationary point of this function here well i don't know it's converged i mean the question doesn't kind of sometimes you get asked to show that it's such and such to three significant figures or prove your answer is correct to three significant figures it doesn't do that here if we press keep and press equals it very quickly converges so that gives us our answer. X is going to be 1.2061. And then for Y, we're going to put it back in to here. minus 0 0.1021 so let's write down our coordinates it's going to be 1.2 wait i think it said three decimal places apologies yes one point by the way the, we shouldn't be really marked down on rounding you only get uh, one mark on rounding so I, I feel like i'd be okay here even if i didn't write it as a coordinate but right strictly speaking it's going to be 1.206 and then minus 0 0.102 all right great job